Hi, my name is Bo Thompson and I'm a sixth grade student. We wanted you to take a peek at what you'll experience next year. Welcome to OP Norman Junior High. This is our principal, Mr. Melton. You are almost junior high students. We hope you have a wonderful summer and get prepared for what sixth grade is going to be. It is more challenging and it is uh, probably a little more uncomfortable, a bigger building and new rules and new things that um, you will grow a lot through. With junior high uh, comes increased freedom and anytime you get, get more freedom in life you have more responsibility. Because of this your expectations are going to be a little bit higher. We will talk about all of those things and I hope that you tell your parents to make sure that they look on Facebook for the announcement of our Paws to Claws Night. That is a meeting with us, our teachers, and we talk to y'all and your parents about the challenge of junior high. Here we have two assistant principals, Ms. McNeely and Ms. Webb. This is one of our assistant principals, Ms. McNeely. We love her, but you don't want to be in her office. Welcome to junior high, y'all. Here we have a lot of fun, but the expectations are high. Uh, you will grow not only academically, but also in character and maturity. Uh, Mr. Melton and I are very proud of the place that we have created here, and we cannot wait to get to know each and every one of our new kiddos for the 2019 school year. And this is our other assistant principal, Ms. Webb. Hello fifth graders, welcome to sixth grade at OP Norman Junior High. I'm Mrs. Webb and I will be one of your assistant principals. We look forward to meeting you come August. Some of our expectations are we expect you to be in class on time every day, work hard and be respectful to your teachers. We hope you have an awesome summer, get some rest, and come back in August prepared to work hard. See you then. Here at the junior high, you have more classes, which means shorter periods. Each class is about 47 minutes long. You can be tardy to each class, and if you're tardy too many times, you could go to pass, so don't be tardy. You can pick two different electives or none. Your two elective choices will be choir or band. If you pick neither, then you could end up in communications with Ms. Dees or pause the clause with Ms. Molly. That is the way it was this year, but it may be different next year. If you don't take care of your restrooms, then you could end up on the bad side of Ms. McNeely, Mr. Melton, and Ms. Webb. And trust me, you really don't want to be there. Here, we have a no zeros policy. Our principals do not tolerate any zeros in the gradebook. If you don't do your work, you will go to working lunch. If you skip working lunch, you will receive an office referral and you'll go to PASS, our version of ISS, which stands for Principal Assigned School Suspension, and you will stay there until all of your work is completed. Here, we have three lunches, A lunch, B lunch, and C lunch. Yes, you will be eating lunch with 7th and 8th graders, but it's okay. Somebody on the stage will be watching you at all times, usually the principals or counselors. My experience here was great. The teachers are amazing, and I hope you have as good of an experience as I did. I'll see you in the halls. <laughs>